Hello everyone, it's Unit 13 here on scene at the homestead and I want to share with you this PVC pipe frame I made to hold mosquito netting over top of the worm bins. It's designed to prevent insects from coming into it so that I don't bridge the moat as well as keep or contain the spiders that are in there so they don't infiltrate into the house if we take this in, take the bins in for a hurricane or other type of event. What I did is I just cut out pieces until I had what I thought was enough. Um, I checked them for fit. What I used is uh, PVC elbow tees, regular tees, and caps as feet on the down legs and then of course a bed mosquito net. Everything is dry assembled, nothing will be glued so that the frame can be broken down and stored or easily transported if it becomes necessary to do so. Everything, everything is dry fit here. What I'm doing now is installing the cross members that will support or help support the net from sagging onto the top of those bins, helping to reduce the possibility of uh, bridging those moats. That way I can introduce new species in there. Last thing I want are ants. That's given me problems in the past. This is a view just before I put the net on to give you an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to leave those cross members on the top loose. Instead of cutting in fittings for each one because I believe I'm going to actually add possibly a couple more up there. And I don't mind having them loose. That way they'll be more adjustable if that net is sagging. Another idea I have is if I come across a piece of lattice, that PVC lattice I see on the side of the road out here all the time, I will pick it up and add it to the top here. I think that now that I've looked at the design, I think that a piece of lattice would actually be very useful for that purpose. And then I can eliminate those other three cost members that are visible in this little section of video here. Here's a quick overview of what it looks like from the top. And it's clear to see in this next image here or video that it's bridging or it's not bridging the gap. It's preventing that net from making contact with the top. And then in this view here is just a little quick walk around of what it looks like after I've installed the net. Total time from the time I put that pipe and the fittings down in that room to the time I picked up everything was approximately 40 minutes. And the whole time, let's see, the whole project cost was $32.93. That's the net the PVC fittings and pipe. So that was a pretty cheap fix. I also have enough fittings so that if I add an additional bin, I, I have enough materials to extend that net out across there. And I believe by what it looks like on the floor there that there's enough materials that I will be able to do that. I'm going to have to take out um, some stuff that's in storage and put in here to add the next bins on. Okay, um, it's a pretty simple project, really easy to do. That's all I have. This is Unit 13. I'm out of here.